All right, so today we are continuing to chip away at filling out the library for the red title screen star. And then I'll worry about the purple and blue once this is more or less done. And so I got 10 chips last time, went from 220 to 230. So today's goal within, you know, my usual streaming time frame of around three hours, four at the absolute max, somewhere around the three hour uh, mark is to get another 10 chips. And if I get more than that, then so be it. That is actually great because then next time I can not only finish the library, but also move on to working on the purple and or blue star. And so let me remind myself what was next. So 61, this requires a pop-up chip to trade. Let's see here, chip trading. Lower P. I need to pop up a D for the blower P. That sounds sus as fuck. But man in Natopia Alley. So where do I get a pop up? Let's let's see here. So pop up is from mole viruses, right? Yeah, mole. And if I wanted, okay, so it's just kind of a random a uh, pop up D just says level 1 to S. It doesn't indicate any HP. If I wanted an I or a T or a W, it would it indicates whatever HP, so. But let me double check on, on this one, on this page, the enemies. Undernet 6 is the only location. Pop-up D is any HP. So I guess a 50, it's a 50-50 between a pop-up D and either an I, T, or a W, depending on your HP status. Uh, so I figure let's let's maybe do that first. What I need to do though is I need the problem is Undernet Seven is what connects to Five directly. So I, I can't remember what I don't remember exactly how to get to Undernet Six specifically. So let's check that real quick. Undernet Six. Oh no, there is an entrance from Five. Okay, wait. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of a different one. Oh, what's good, Space Cowboy? I think I'm thinking of a different game where 5 doesn't... Oh, no, you're good, dude. Don't worry about it. Shit happens. But, uh... I think there's another game where it jumps from, like, Undernet 4 to 6 or 5 to 7 or something like that, so... I do know how to get to Undernet 6. Let's just... Let's just beeline that. Because... I, oh, if you'll notice my Zenny count. <laughs> I, I did a little bit of grinding. Just a little bit. I got very unlucky with those Undernet 5 mystery datas. I got so many hundred Zennies. Like, so many. I probably went there at least a dozen times. If not more. Maybe, maybe closer to, like, 16, maybe 20. And the amount of 50k green mystery datas I got were so few. Compared to when I remember grinding when I was doing hub style stuff and like buying all the HP mems and power ups and shit. Cause I always forget power ups are a thing in this game. Uh, and so that should be enough Zendy to last me the entire post game, I think. Oh no, you're good, dude. It's all good. I haven't checked your messages yet, but no worries at all. Let's see here. Okay, so, oh, but you know what I did do? is while I was there, I ran into you-know-who, and as you can see by the three Muramasas I have, compared to the one I had last time, is, uh, I did farm Shadow Man. And so I got his his 1, 2, and 3 for that trade. So I did I did farm Shadow Man. I purposefully had to play, like, terribly to get this, this rank 1 chip. It was kind of painful, to be honest, because there were some times where I got Zenny at those lower ranks, but, uh... Oh, you know what? It's actually better for me to just go through here, I think. I always forget that I can just do that. I got what? Oh, I haven't... 
Wait, I haven't entered this room. I haven't entered entered Lance's room at all since I got Hope Style. That's funny. Hope Style allows Mega Man to use all his latent power. Essentially, every style's abilities can be used. Buster's double Buster. Buster's double Buster attack. You can choose from ten chips in the custom screen. Carry eight eight chips per folder. Have a barrier, and during battle, you can use the shield to guard attacks by pressing back then B or B then back. However, Mega Man's body can't fully take the power, so his HP's hit points are reduced to half. Hub style is a, is a style full of strength and versatility. It all depends on how you handle the routine, Lan. Hell yeah. Um, It'd be better for me to try again next week, because my schedule is currently locked off for the week. But that, that might change, but it just kind of depends. I'm not really on call, per se, but it's possible that they don't need me by the end of the week, but I'd rather just leave that open just in case. The following week I should be pretty free, though. And so... I guess I might as well just continue to use untraps, right? Then we have G again... I'll probably try to shuffle the playlists around a little bit more this time, too. That Zero ZX one is one of my favorite playlists that I have. I do have one for Classic and X... Uh, Mega Man Classic and Mega Man X music. But... I think I need to go through it again, because... It's not, like, as refined as I like for my playlist to be. Like, there might be some skips in there that I... That I left in. Because to me, like... I can spend way too much time crafting a playlist for with music, uh, simply because I like it. I know when a playlist is done when there's no skips. And I mean, sometimes I'll skip a track depending on mood, but like, if, if a track comes up that I'm like, there is no mood that I would want to listen to this, or like, I'm skipping it more often than not, I'll just cut it from the playlist, because... Clearly, it's not really doing anything for me. Oh, you fucker. Damn it. Well, thankfully, I don't have to play like shit. Oh, and he went for the shurikens right off the bat, so I get to do this for free, which is sweet. And I can just I just I can just play to kill right right now instead of like holding back, which is nice. Cause that was my issue. He actually killed me a couple times because I had to hold back. Oh, this is unfortunate. Um, I'm kind of down to burn this. If I cause if I draw base, it's like GG. I don't know why I put that second, but okay, we got life sword. And so this should be free. I just need to make sure he doesn't have iframes going on. That was so shit. Whatever. It's gonna be fine. Oh shit. Wait, look at this. Big damage. See, Airman is one of my favorite Navi chips. Just simply be- Oh shit. Simply because of the, uh, the way that works. Lit. Hey, what's good, Carlos? Another Muramasa, wow. Okay. If anyone's playing the PC version and wants a Muramasa, or, or two, then, uh, I've got you. Because I'm pretty much, I think I'm pretty much done using the Chip Trader. I think I'm just going to hold on to whatever I have. For the rest of the game. Next Tuesday. You mean like next next Tuesday? Like not this coming Tuesday? Because that, that could work for me. I forgot it was Friday. I was like, wait. 
O code is great. Actually, it is, yeah, because I, I know Guardian is O. Life Aura. Yeah, it's some good shit. This, this probably isn't even the best of it, either. Maybe I'll have to shake up my folder a little bit. Um, but first, let's check this other green. I should put a sneak run up. I forgot that actually works. But then again, we're going to enter Undernet 6 and try to find moles, so... A little reflex test. Wait, did I get the other one, then? Dude. Oh, super lucky. Super fucking lucky. No, no, no. Keep being lucky. Okay. Oh. Unlucky, no wide sword. Alright, Toad Man, don't be stupid. Thank you. Toad Man Supremacy. See, the problem is, I don't have an area grab up, so I need to be careful with this. Okay, front row. Yes! Hell yeah. Big damage. Fact. Let's just do this. Teleport back. Lip. Another, another S rank on Shadow Man that I didn't need. I'm glad that I excluded base at least while I was farming for S ranks. Because it's like super cheesy. Curse Shield PA, Ultra Bomb PA. I'm going to need to... Uh, I need to look into the program advances a little bit more deeply. Because that, that's really one system I haven't really fucked around with much, aside from the obvious ones, like Life Sword, Z Cannons, shit like that. Alright, so we're looking for... We're looking for moles. I've got a shit ton of Zenny, so I can afford to use as many lock enemies as I want. In fact, is there another sub-memory? I feel like 9 should be the max, but maybe, maybe not. But I need a pop-up D. Rock Cube... Oh, wait, I think I need a candle, too, as well, don't I? I think I need candle, too. Yes, I do need candle, too. Okay, that's perfect, then. So, actually, I will I will fight those, uh... Those candle viruses as they come up. This... I mean, this'll work. Toad, man, you better aim for the yurt. Thank you. Oh, you got Dragon's Dogma too. See, unfortunately, it, it seems like the PC version is not great. Like, it's not in a great spot. So, I'm going to pass on it for now. And then wait for it to get fixed. Assuming there actually is, like, a major problem with it. Um, oh, yeah, I guess Toadman's going to do double here. So I don't even need to use those Navi chips, but let's do this. Cause this should, yeah, this should cross over broken panels, right? We're just gonna super overkill this, uh, this guy. And if I get a candle too, that is one chip down that I was not intending on getting here. Nope, just a meteor 15. Fuck. We're still looking for moles, though. That's our main goal. The mole goal. Ultra Bomb can bypass enemy protection. What I need, actually, is... I need program advances that can kill those obelisk things in um, the post-game area. Because there is a purple mystery data. I've gotten... I've, I did some of them already because... Like, I have Z Time Bomb... And, uh, because there was an HP mem or a power-up or 
something that I wanted or needed for hub style. That sucks. But there's a purple mystery that I skipped because of a certain thing, but I think that has a chip that I that is only acquirable with that purple. Yurts. I guess I just do this, right? Hell yeah. Good ol' Invis 3. Um... Yeah, I think just Double Toad Man here is the answer. Just spam A. Hope that I get a rank that'll give me a candle too, actually. Sick. One down. And now that I know not to use uh, sneak runs, now that I know not to use sneak runs for bosses, I think this is going to go actually a lot smoother. Hub style must modify the running, like, evasion kinds of shit. It must, right? Because at 500 HP naturally, there's no way you'd be running from half of these enemies this consistently. But I guess we'll see in, in World 3 area. If I can run from enemies turn 1, then that is for sure the case, because that was not possible. Oh wait, Win G, isn't isn't that for Gator? I think I've used Gator though. I, I think I used it once just to test it out. Because I was curious, and then I was like, oh yeah, this shit is insanely busted. Yo, can I... I just want to find a mole, though. I guess I'll leave the maps up for now. And technically, these enemies are called Rush. And they might have been changed in, in this translation, maybe. 5.9% encounter rate. But once I find one, I can just lock it. There it is. Um, I know it only takes one damage at a time, but I'm also like, well, what if I, like, can I stun it? It probably doesn't, it's probably immune to stun, right? It's a coin flip. It's always a coin flip. And we lost the coin flip. But I can lock it. This is low-key one of my favorite dungeon themes in Battle Network. The uh, Wily the Wily comps in BN1. Low-key kind of goaded though. I mean, I guess... I guess if I can draw more chips that uh, can easily hit this guy, we can go ahead and do that. Fuck! Damn it! I tried to press A. I, I really did. It's all good, though. That's not what I'm looking for. I don't know if I have the Mag Macker chip, but I would rather just focus on the, the uh, rushes right now.
How in the fuck are you supposed to S rank these guys though? That's what I don't get. Can can this do double like does this do two? No, it only does one, okay. Yeah, like how in the hell I mean, well I guess no the drops are always one to S, so it's just That's just there for Simplicity's sake, I guess. But you'll always get a six, right? There it is. We got the pop-up D. That is all I need for now, and so Pop up Man in Natopia Alley. And also, we need to do this anti damage trade on the plane. Since I did get those Shadow Man chips off stream. Um, airport. Boom, boom, boom. I also really like the Fireman comp. In BN1. Speaking of speak of the devil. First class. Let's get that anti-damage. You? Yeah. Nice. It's another one. Now we got an Utopia. These are the DS mixes of these as well. Which, they sound really similar to the GBA mixes, but like slightly less crunchy. There's Raul. Nice, got the blower. Got a blower in the back alley. What's next? Oh, we have everything up to 100. 106. Oh, sad times. Sad boy song. 107. Aqua Ball, Elect Ball, and Heat Ball. We need to fight. Octons, Octors, and Octavians, or Octavians. Octavians. Hmm, wide monitor comp. Goddess comp, Undernet 7. So, where the hell at Wide Monitor Comp? Wide Monitor Comp, BN2. Where the fuck is Wide Monitor Comp? Oops, no. Wide monitor comp. Dad's lab, okay. And the goddess comp is Natopia Castle, okay. To the lab, to the laboratory. And then under seven is easy enough to get to. Archers. Like, going on the plane is a lot quicker in post-game, but... It's still, like, a little bit... 
This takes a little longer than I would like. Uh, Marine Harbor. Happy Friday, Eric. Happy Friday, indeed. Already making good progress. If I can get these these elemental ball chips, that would be nice. Wide monitor. I'm assuming that's this. Or maybe it's the one in the official room. Mon is it a regular monitor? Yeah, okay, there is a distinction then. Wide monitor must be... Must be this one. Also wondering if I'm missing any mystery data, so maybe I should double check as I'm looking for octons. Shrimpies, pass. No mystery data, now we just need to find the virus I'm looking for. No. Nope. I'll go ahead and save just in case. I need a reset for any reason. What are the... I'll leave this page up. What are the... What's the encounter rate of these guys? 4.3%. Okay. Understandable. And uh, S rank, it, thankfully, I can just S rank these guys. Because that is the highest chance to get it. Although, I guess that's going to mean uh, multi deleting, though. And I got to find one first. No. Is their encounter rate the same? Like, are they all 4.3, 4.0, 3.1 for the for the Undernet 7 one? Okay. I think uh, I think Gustavo was saying these are a pain to find, and I'm I'm understanding that now. Drop rate doesn't seem too bad, but it's, it's still a coin flip. Fun part. <laughs> this is the fun part right here. What What's funny is because I put in the time grinding out the Shadow Man chips, I got two of the harder to acquire chips, and now now the ones with actually good drop rates are like that don't require a trade. I just can't find the enemy that I need. Not it. And even if the Navicust was in this game, it's not like I could use fish to help out because the, uh, the Shrimpies are going to show up as well. There we go. Now, unfortunately, this won't be an S rank because I'm not going to be able to kill these guys in a single turn, but... Oh shit. Ooh, these guys are annoying. Will you target the, uh... Yeah, good. 
Maybe I'll get lucky, though, because they can... Oh, no, they only drop on a 9 or a higher, right? Yeah. Okay. Thankfully, I can lock enemy, though. I mean, hopefully it locks the... Yeah. Okay, so this way I can just literally spam A. It's not going to be an S rank still, but there will at least be a chance of me getting the drop that I need. Now, if I draw base, then that is going to be... Oh, it was an S, and I didn't get it. I lost the coin flip. Ooh, wait, you know what I can do, though? Thank God for, uh, for full cust. Save me there. Alright, coin flip, coin flip, coin flip. Not a coin flip. Interesting. Does have a 3% chance to drop on a, uh... Oh wait, this is a triple delete, so this is like easy... Easy S rank. And we lost the coin flip again. Although having a bubbler might be good for the... Program advance, because I'm pretty sure there is one for those guys. No. I don't know if B is the right code for that, though. God, I wish these, these tracks in the playlist didn't have such long... Uh, ...tales like that. This is an easy S. Will I win the coin flip this time? That is the question. And also... Oh, never mind. Okay, sick. Aqua Ball T. Got that one. Next one is the Goddess Comp, which is in... Utopia Castle. So we gotta go to the airport again. I mean, I'm sure if I marked all the chips down that I need... Like, how I felt at the, the, uh, the bestiary for the Final Fantasy games that I've done thus far... ...is I would just mark down all of the ones that I was missing, determine if any of them are in the same area, and then do those, instead of, like, going back and forth. But in this game, because I know what I'm doing and where I'm going more... Uh, I don't really mind as much, but it would be more efficient if it was like... Let's mark down all of the ones that are accessible in Utopia instead of having to go to the airport a million times. Tough money. I mean, I guess we might as well one-shot, right? Zepring 2. There we go, we got him. Shit. Could wait for this fucker to go by. Well, there's still a chance to get it on a 9, but it's a very low chance. Um, lock enemy. I need to remember next time I'm in, I'm in a Marine Harbor to restock. 
not exactly what I'm looking for here. Okay. Just gonna rake in these zap ring two S's until I draw base. Until I draw literally anything. Oh my god, what is this hand? Like, I might as well sneak in a charge shot, right? Depending on what I draw. Oh, no. I can just super overkill this guy. And hopefully still get a rank that gives me the, a chance to get this drop. A 10? A 25% chance? No? Once they're locked, though, it feels a lot better. Uh... No. Stay sparky. Mm hmm. His hand again, though. Maybe I should rebuild my folder. I don't know. Eventually... Eventually I'll get it. And hopefully killing the tough bunnies last doesn't fuck with the lock enemy. No. Certainly not if you run from encounters. And so I just spam A here. Because this should lock to the tough bunny. Because it's closer. Yeah, so the 200 damage one can hit the back row. Beautiful. And I lost the coin flip. That's great. Um, no, I already, ha I already used a Z-Time Bomb, so I don't need... those... No. Can I draw, like, anything good? At least I get a double delete, which helps. Okay. That should be, like, a I mean, I got a double, so I don't know if that'll be an S or not. It'll probably be like a 10. But... I was an S. And I lost the coin flip again. <laughs> what's the... What, what's the odds of a coin flip again? 1 in 2? The shitty thing is because of how probabilities actually work. That's not always the case. It's just like in... How everyone memes about how in Pokemon, like Focus Blast or Stone Edge or like anything below 90 accuracy or really 100 is really a 50-50 as to whether it hits or not. Which I, which I, which I find fascinating because like it is kind of true. Because it, it is a 50-50 in that either it will land or it will not. And of course the, the more repetitions you do the closer to an actual 70% it'll be, but when you're not actually counting them out, it can feel very bad. 
since it's rolling that percentage every single time. So there's no there's nothing that's guaranteeing that it'll it'll land three in ten times. Or that it'll land seven out of ten times rather. It'll probably land three out of ten times as opposed to seven. Yo, I, I literally have not... Why, why, why? Why are the handies locked? That makes no sense. I am my... I think I saved right after I used my first lock enemy, I, I hope. Let me just double check if one of them is active, yeah. Dude, what? see. Oh, hopefully I don't get, like, copyright struck for having Koki's, uh, thing. Then again, I don't mind cutting out this segment if that's the case, but I don't, I don't think it's that big a deal. Hopefully. Just in the background. This, this a like ball better not eat all of these hits. Wow. I'm sorry, saying again. Okay. Come on. I'm just looking for the drop. I'm, I'm not looking for a particular code at the moment. This is a spam A. This should be an S rank. I just lost the coin flip every single time. Yeah, I just need the chip. It's a 50% drop. On an S rank, that is. So, hopefully, because I've lost the coin flip two or three times now, this will be the one. Flip the coin, and we got it. Hell yeah. If I need a specific code later, we'll worry about that later. Um, And then, under net seven for this last one. Which, I figure since we're already here, let's just take Miss Millions. A shortcut. Or Miz, Miz Millions. I think it's Miz, like M-S, not M-I-S-S. Throw a sneak run up. In fact, that, uh, well, I'll be cutting through Undernet 5, so I guess Untrap is worth it. It's just annoying that under square, I think, is the only place to get untraps. But uh, have you played any of the Dragon's Dogma 2 yet, though? Because I'm curious how it is. It seems, it seems like it, it got positive reviews. It's just the PC version seems not in a great state. And people are upset about the microtransactions, too, which is understandable. It's like looking through reviews while I was on my lunch break. On Steam, that is. Steam reviews. But, well, that is kind of a bummer that the PC version's busted. Or, like, just not optimized. It is one of those things where I'm like, well, I wasn't, like, so excited for it that I'm bummed, per se. It's more like... It just makes it easier for me to chip away at my backlog. And that's kind of where I'm at with the in the games industry generally. It's like... Maybe I should go get more untraps. Just, like, top myself off, because... I'm already here. Oh, you started the beginning this morning. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's like, it's almost like the more games that come out that are bad or broken to some effect. Like, I know it's fucked up, because there are people who are looking forward to these games that come out and they're not functional or missing content or like whatever, but... 
to me, that's just like, okay, I've got more time to play backlog games that I might have missed. That's cool with me. Like, games could stop coming out, and I would still have plenty to play for the rest of my life. So it, it, it's like... It's one of those things that that's why I, I feel like... I guess somewhat disconnected from the industry in that way. I do still follow it, because I find it fascinating. And I think it is important to be aware of what's going on. But... It's not really something that I feel like I want to speak on, for sure. Like, in videos and shit like that. I really just, like, am not- I'm not so interested in it that I'm like, I need to talk about this. I'm interested in talking about, like, the games themselves. When I play them. Uh, speaking of which, I was so close to dropping Tales of Vesperia last night. I was so close to dropping it. And then some crazy shit happened. And I'm still not, like, I'm not super, super into it right now, but... I, I, I guess I, like, finished the first act, I would assume. That's kind of what it seemed like. And so I'm like, okay, we're, we're kind of like, we got a new character, we're freshening up the, the plot a little bit. Maybe there is, a, like, there is plot, finally. There's some, something going on, there's some... Something is building. And, like, character motivations are changing, sort of. So I'm like, okay, I'll feel this out a little bit longer, but... I don't know. It's just like the story in that game is so meandering. It's like nothing... I feel like nothing's happened. I feel like literally nothing has happened in 15 hours. And I'm not like... And like the bad guys are so... They're so must mustache twirling that I'm like not... It, it's making me appreciate Final Fantasy VII a lot more. And it's not like I've ever... It's not like I ever disliked FF7, but... I find the early portions of the story to be, on a replay, kind of not super interesting. It is ta yeah, I mean, to be fair, it is Tales, so I mean, I shouldn't be expecting the deepest... ...story ever, but Berseria impressed me a lot, especially on the character side of things. Like, I think the cast of Tales of Berseria is like... It's among my favorite parties in RPGs, period. And the story is not like the greatest thing ever in that game. It's like, it's it's a it's a little cliche and kind of... Like, there's some twists here and there that were... that I was interested in, but... Nothing crazy. Well, though there was, there was crazy shit, but I mean, like, nothing super mind-blowing, really. But by comparison, Vesperia... It's just, I don't know. I feel I feel like it's lacking um, from that front, but the combat's decently fun, I guess. I still don't know that it's my favorite type of combat ever, because like it's very similar to the other Tales games in that style. But I would like to finish it. I would like to I would like to play through all of Vesperia. Because that is considered like one of the big three in that series. And I think it would be cool to play through all three of the big three, assuming I'm interested enough to do so. Although I'm going backwards. <laughs> I'm going backwards, though, so... By the time I get to Symphonia, maybe, maybe I won't be as into it, but... Bandai really should just remake Symphonia, though. I don't know why they haven't. It makes no sense to me. Or remake Abyss. Because Abyss doesn't have a modern port. It's on the 3DS, as well as the PS2, but... But it's the 3DS, though, like... That doesn't count. Same thing with the Dragon Quest games, actually. Get those Dragon Quest 7 and 8 remasters or remakes or whatever off of the 3DS. Get that shit on Steam. And PS5 and shit. I don't know why that hasn't been done. I... what... that... 
Blech. Blech. I could have literally killed these guys, too. Hey, yo. Air shoes is not a thing. It's a chip. Yo? Uh... Dude, fuck the fuck off, you fucking assholes. What the fuck? Dude. Okay, at least I saved once I entered this room. I was like, please tell me I saved recently. I could have killed them too with the, uh, the Toad Mans. I just... Brain farted. Yeah, also where the fuck is that Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D? Also, why not just do that with all three of the first three though? And still, yeah, and still nothing on 12 either. I don't know what's going on. I'm sure Bandai is scrambling to, like, figure out how to accelerate that stuff. Oh, the aura chips. Don't I need some of these for a trade? For undershirt? I need specific ones. Ugh. Okay. Well, I mean, base maybe can one-shot these guys, though. Because, see... Dragon Quest is one of those series... I've only ever played 9. And that was way back in the day, and I liked it. But... It's garbage, okay. Um... Well, this... Okay, good. Um... Alec Aura, what, which code do I, I need Alec Aura L, okay, perfect. That's actually really good. What was I saying? Dragon Quest is a series that I really want to delve into now, but... And, like, I can't, I could emulate the... What was it? 4, 5, and 6 got had DS versions, and then 7 and 8 have 3DS versions, which are the more recent ones. 9 is stranded on the DS, 10 is Japan only still. And then of course I could play 11, but I feel like... I think 11 should be my first one in like, however long it's been, right? Oh, wait a second, I didn't... I fucked up. Okay. Dim reflexes, though. I don't know if that was good enough to get what I need now. Okay. Still keep looking for... I'm looking for the Octo guys. That's what I'm looking for. I don't know if I need Crush Shield 3 or whatever, but it's worth a shot, I guess. Okay. Where's any? Let's try this again. This will do double. But it would be nice. Uh, well, yeah, I guess I can area grab. Especially if... Yo, can you go to the front row, you fucking douche? Okay, thank you. Wood Aura S. That's another one that I need. Okay, so we're 50% done with that, with Undershirt. I just need a Fire Aura R and an Aqua Aura A. A. 
Because Dragon Quest, maybe... Maybe I'll, I'll approach it like I did Final Fantasy a few years ago, where, like, I'll start with... Like, some of the Super Nintendo ones or something, instead of starting with 1, 2, and 3. I feel like they're probably better, if I had to guess. Like, a better experience. But also, I'm like, why not? Why can't we not get pixel remasters of the first three at least? Well, I don't know. It's just confusing. Ugh. I need to be careful that I don't use too many full energies. I've yet to find a single Octavian or Octavian here. Also, Freeze Man might show up, but I have so many Toad Mans in my folder that it'd be kind of a joke. Nice. <laughs> And there's the jokester. And you're dead. <laughs> don't think there's a wrong way to start. Yeah, I mean, they're all disconnected, so... It's one of those. It would just be nice if they were just all on Steam. Because then the decision can be made for me as to which version to play, but... I guess the answer is just play the DS and 3DS um, remakes or whatever. Of 4 through 8. I feel like if I start with 11, though, it's... I don't know if it'd be hard to go back, necessarily, but I feel like 11 should be earned in some sense. Because I'm sure that it's one of those games that, like... Similar, maybe, to Final Fantasy IX, the more Final Fantasies you've played, the maybe the more you appreciate it. Because of all the references and callbacks and stuff like that, but I don't know if it's... I don't know. I don't know if it's really that kind of game. That's kind of what it... That's, that's what it appears to be, though. From the outside looking in. Um I already got the wood aura I need. And I can't run. Dude, where is this thing? It is a 3% ch chance encounter, also I should not have done that. Shit. Okay, please... Let me run. Thank you. Yo. Is this uh, Pierce? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's dead again. Goodbye. 
What a joke of a boss, man. Freeze Man's arc single-handedly knocks down BN2 a couple of points because the backtracking bullshit you have to do, but... And then you fight him and he's a fucking joke. I don't know if that's done on... I don't know if that was done on purpose. It almost seems like intentional. Where it's like, that's why he made it so hard for you to get to him. He's not re he's not really a combat navvy in that way. Or something. I would buy that. But it's, pro it's probably not. It's probably not the case. Are there V4s? Nah. There's no V4s in uh, BN2. Just V3s. That's why BN3's post-game is so insane. There's, like, so much shit. Going for 100% in that game is, like, actually crazy. I'm not entirely sure that I want to do that. Like, I'll fight Serenade. Like, I'll get 140 standard chips, I'll fight Serenade. I don't know what all you have... I, I, I'd have to check the completion requirements and stuff, but, like, it would be cool to fight Alpha Omega, but you might have to 100% for that. Like, actually... Like, fighting base, what is it, GX or whatever, and then fighting Alpha Omega would be super sick. Can I get this encounter? I know it's 3%, but... Alright, I'm soft resetting. Yeah, NV5's in, uh, in BN3 as well, which is insane. Do you need team style for both of those? I hate these guys, man. Ugh, I, I couldn't hit you once. I'm gonna use a get in, like a little bitch. A little bitch boy. Oh, you dodged my attack. I'm gonna use a get in again so that you, you get stun locked and you can't do anything. Ugh. Fucking dumb nerds. Shove those fucking nerds in a locker, am I right? Aha, uh -huh, I got him. Custom and team style on deck. Jesus. Yo, can we not with these? I already got what I needed from these guys. I know I'm not gonna be able to run either, but at least I have, um... If I spam A, I think I can do this in time. Hopefully. Oh, maybe not. Well, yeah, I'll catch it on the way back, actually, because I have the barrier up, and I don't think... Oh no, we just got him. Nice. Another one of those. <laughs> Good thing you have everything to lose then, right? It's just a lot. It's just a lot. It's cool, it's cool that there's that much content there, it's just like... Jesus. There's so much content... ...in that game that it's almost like, does this, does this even all need to be here? Well, maybe that's not the right way to put it. It's just more like... Let me check what the title screen stars are, because I'm not making any progress on this. Yeah, no. A lot of grinding to do without help from others, right? That's true, you do need someone for Mistman Bowl Man because of the good old version differences. Jesus Christ. I've been, uh... I had watched some of K&I John's uh, Battle Network reviews, which I feel like is something that seemed to reignite the Battle Network fan base a few years ago when he started that, but... Um, I've been re-watching them. I think I rewatched all of them the past week or so, and, uh... He's so right to call out the split version thing, which I've talked about against Pokemon as well, but not only is it obnoxious all these years later, but like such a scummy marketing tactic too. Alright, Battle Network 3, title, title screen stars. Defeat the story's final boss, defeat base GS in secret area, so you need you need to beat Serenade and then feed the Bugfrag Trader a bunch of times. 
complete the time trials in secret area. Is that are those like the um are those like the endurance battles? Or I guess it's a time trial, but it's like it's what those um, numbered guys give you, right? Those like floating ghost looking dudes. Complete standard chip library and complete mega chip library. Requires other version exclusive mega chips. Goddamn. How many standard chips are there in BM3? Two hundred. That's actually well. Wow, there's less than well. Never mind. BN2 doesn't categorize, so it's two fifty in BN2. Period. Whereas this is two hundred standard plus <laughs> a lot of mega chips. Eighty five mega chips. Time trials are pretty fun and challenging. Heal navvies are scattered across secret area. Oh, after beating Serenade, I see. Rather be in three's post game than BN 4s all oh, that work for that easy area. Is BN4 is like kind of a joke? What do you need for BN4? BN4, pedal screen, stars. Obtain all six, double souls, complete standard chip library, which I already have done, complete mega chips, complete giga chips, complete program advanced library, defeat base Omega in Black Earth. After obtaining all marks, highlight continue, hold left, and it, oh, and then you unlock the Omega version navvies. Oh! Obtain, okay. Making room for two more stars. Dude, the BN3 postgame is so insane! BN4 doesn't say anything about evil chips or dark chips or anything. BN5, on the other hand, does. BN5, it's like for each category, program advances, and then base omega in nebula area. BN6, final boss, standard mega giga, program advance, beat base SP in graveyard. And then second row, defeat Proto Man FZ, which is an insane. That that boss fight is fucking insane. Because I did all the requests, all the jobs on the request board. And I fought him. And that fight is nuts, dude. Defeat base SP using using defeat base SP using all five link navvies unlocked via the beast link gates navvy link system. What the fuck is this? Oh, in the legacy collection, it's just unobtainable because it's like some peripheral thing. They didn't even they didn't even include a way for you to get this. And then complete the secret trips in the library. Then we have Phantom of Network, EXE Legend of Network, shit like that. But BN3s is insane because you get the five stars or whatever, and then they condense into they condense, making room for two more. Which is crazy. That'll be like if anything, that'll be a super long-term thing. For me. There's a Japanese VTuber that streamed the entirety of BN3. Had post-game depression and satisfaction. They said they said they always wanted 100 percent it. Man. I mean that was me with like Sonic Adventure 2. And like that that was a chore, but that was only 180 emblems. That wasn't like 200 chips plus 85 plus all this other stuff. And then I lost the save file somehow, even though I play on Steam. I, I think it was because I reinstalled the mod loader or some shit. It was weird. Yeah, three and six are nuts. Six's combat is so fun, though, so, like, I feel like the post-game could be good. Um, although, another thing I noticed when I was watching those those K&I John uh, Battle Network review thingies, whatever you call them, 
Is that, I feel like he and I are kind of on the same page about a lot of things, too, which is kind of cool. Despite me not really, like, remembering much of anything that he said in those videos when I initially watched them. Although I think his his hatred for BN4 did definitely impact my, uh... My hatred towards it. Potentially. Since it had been a while since I played it, but... The other ones were either fresh in my mind because I had just played BN1 and 2 around that time for the first time. Maybe like a year or two prior, but it was like... They were relatively fresh, and then 3, 5, and 6 I grew up with. So... I didn't really need a refresher, per se. But it's cool, though. I, I can't wait to hear him rip into Star Force 2. Because... That game... Kinda sucks. <laughs> I mean, it has redeeming qualities, the combat's better than the first game, but like, it's not great. It's definitely not great. I'm looking back on it, like, even less fondly, and I'm wondering if I should have put BN1 above it. But even then, like, BN1 is a game where, I don't know if it's because I went for 100%, but I kind of like... I think I soured on it a bit during that 100% run. But like, playing through the story, it's like, what, it's like 10 hours max. Right? But then again, I would rather play pretty much any other Battle Network. Well, would I rather play through Battle Network 4? I feel like yes, because the combat is better. As much of a chore as Battle Network 4 is, I feel like if I had enough time off... If I took enough time off, and I was like, okay, let me take my save file from however long ago... ...and play on super hard mode or whatever, I feel like that could be... ...fun. The problem is when you play it three times back-to-back, -back and you don't take breaks. Or in my case, six times back-to-back. -back, and you don't take breaks. Although Buster Max definitely helps. Dude, this encounter sucks. I found him once. I'm going to start soft resetting more, because I'm just wasting time fighting these encounters. Yeah, like, I, maybe... Yeah, if I can't run, I might as well soft reset. I feel like that's faster. Good old Naxa. Fuck. Oh, wait. I'll try to run. I'll try to run. Nope. Wait, can you soft reset with... No, you can't. Star select LR. Doesn't work. Wonder if Buster Max will fuck up the time trials. I feel like you could probably just cheese it with that. Assuming it's just beat these viruses in a certain number of in a certain amount of time. I feel like it'll just count. I, I keep wanting this off reset. No, I, I bet you can cheese it with Buster Max. Because th they're... The problem with a lot of these games, completion-wise, is that even Buster Max is, like, not... Re like, it it's helpful, sure. You can definitely use it to get S-ranks that you otherwise would have to reattempt over and over, but... 
Especially for PN1 when there's no lock enemies and shit like that. No sub chips. That is kind of a huge deal. Like using Buster Max on that, I think. But when it comes to these later games, it's just, just finding these guys. Like, I feel like Buster Max is the least of my worries. Or the least of... Like, it's not that great of a crutch, really, for completion's sake. For regular playthrough, absolutely, it's busted. And for certain things, yeah, like time trials, endurance battles, like for the double and triple S licenses and shit like that. Did I use Buster Max for that? I don't... I hope I didn't. I don't think I did. Because I had been saying that I didn't use Buster Max at all in 2, 3, 5, and 6. Which is definitely true for 3, 5, and 6. I'm just wondering... And there's no there's no way that I would have used it for those then. Because getting the triple S license in this game, that endurance battle is insane. I think it's like, in like 30 fights or something stupid. It's either 20 or 30 fights in a row. It's pretty annoying. But that's why if I ever decide to emulate this game, I'm downloading a save file for uh, hard mode. And not doing this again. I'll do this once on the Legacy Collection version and keep this save file for as long as my Steam account allows me to. But if I come back to this game and I emulate it, then yeah. Come on. Lost to battle 26 or so. Yeah, triple S, it, that is a crazy gauntlet, man. Freeze, man, nobody likes you. Freeze, man. Stop trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> this has... He has to be intentionally shitty, right? I know usually giving devs the benefit of the doubt on stuff like that is not usually what ended up being the case, but... Freeze Man is so much of a joke that, like, it has to be. Yes, we are we are looking for the, the Octobian. For the Element Ball. I got the other two already. This guy has a 3% encounter rate. 3%, and he shows up with a Dominator 3. Well, the red we got the red UFO. I don't know if that's... Um... I don't know if that's something that I need or not. If I already have that ship or not. But I guess we'll find out. Also, is Cross Shield not in this? Catcher? I feel like I already had that. Why do I- wait, what? Oh, is that- what? I thought that was the first one I fought, but... I guess it's not the worst thing ever if I save again, because I haven't used any uh, full energies. Best final boss in the series, don't at me. Oh shit. Wait, why am I just not soft resetting though? Yeah, this theme goes super hard. The, uh, I like the Nebula Grey theme a lot too. But I don't like the DS version as much. The DS version of that theme doesn't do, the, do it for me. 
That's one of the few themes where I prefer the GBA version. But the other battle themes, I like both. Both version. This can be not. No. Try shielding it. I'll try it. I'll try it the next time we uh we see one. First, let's kill this uh this little purple goo boy. Let me see if I can do this. Unless I just didn't time it right, but I had the shield up, so no, I don't think so. He, he bites right through my barrier, too. Oh, wait. I think I just timed it poorly, because I just did it there. Yeah. You have to not do it too, uh, too early. First Battle Network game is so cute. Just adorable. But you know what's not adorable is fucking Freeze Man showing his face here again. You actually landed a hit on me. Well, that's a first. It's first time for everything, Freeze, bitch. Stop resetting. <sighs> Dude. I, I think I do remember there being a some really tough fights later on, yeah, in that triple S license uh, endurance battle. There were some shitty ones for sure, dude. What is going on? Oh, I'm pretty sure two of these just kills anyway, but. Yeah, the actual boss music plays, and Freeze Man just keeps showing up. He's being summoned. He's like, my time has come. My people need me. Looking for the first chip in my folder. The first one. Toadman Strat it is. Go for the nine. 3% drop. Three percent drop. Not it. Maybe worth saving just to reset the RNG a little bit. That's not what I meant to do at all. Like at all. I did actually get pretty good at. intentionally, unintentionally manipulating RNG when I was hunting for Magnet Man. Because I would like run up and down the stairs in Undernet 2 and I would do it in a specific way where um, 
I would just I would just pivot at certain points. Proto Man, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. He's he's literally at the top of my folder, dude. And I'm drawing all of this fucking garbage first. It's not shuffled. This theme is good though, so. I literally have no words. I just like I can burn. I can burn two turns. Okay, we got Proto Man. We actually got it. So. Oh, I didn't need to wait that long, but this is a double delete, so it should be fine. You know it's bad when you're unintentionally manipping. Let's go! I got the 25% drop off the 10. That like that was I didn't have to wait that long. I could have gotten an S and increased my chances, but we fucking got it. Okay, 14 chips to go for that red star. What's next? 111. What we got? Oops. Lava Dragon. Lava Dragon. 1.4... Dude. 1.4% encounter rate in Apartment Comp 3. How many did I mark down for us to do right now? Lava Dragon Undershirt and Holy Panel. So that would put us at what? 239? Seems pretty good to me. And even then, if, if I'm having trouble with Lava Dragon, we can start with it next time. We'll close out of this. And who knows, I might I might farm for some of this stuff over the weekend, that's possible. I should be playing Tales of Vesperia, though, and more Devil Survivor Overclocked as well. Oh, you know what? I I was mentioning how Sonic Origins is, was a pretty good collection, and it, and it is. If you get it on sale, it is a good collection. Actually, I think people are being a little overly harsh on it, understandably in a way, but it's a fine way to play the classic Sonic games, however. Sonic 3 Air, Angel, I Angel Island Revisited, that hack is nuts. It's not just like a ROM hack, it's like you give it the ROM and then it builds like an EXE file for you. And there's like so many options, it's like the way to play Sonic 3. And Knuckles. And, uh, low-key, that game is, like, easily in my top Sonic games immediately. Not that there's much to pick from for me, but that is very easily up there. I could Buster Max. I mean, I'd like to avoid it if I can, but I'm not against it, I guess. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hold up. Maybe not. Sneeze? No? Bought it. Okay. Um... Another one? Wait a second. Um... What the fuck was I doing? I feel like life swords are getting kind of bad, or maybe it's the Z cannon that's bad. Oh, wait. I feel like five toad mans is kind of overkill. If I find a popper two, then I'll do it, but. 
if I don't, then I'm just gonna keep schmoovin'. And I'm honestly, I'm more concerned about actually finding the Lava Dragon than I am wondering at four. So we're looking for Brushman. Not a Navi. Virus. A B tank. Boom, 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 boom. We'll take care of this next time. Two hundred aura regenerates with every action he does. Oh shit. That might that might be its own stream then. That's fine though. Oh, and we can get the uh What auras did I need? Fire aura R and Aqua Aura A. Does Aqua Aura guys do they show up here too? It's lit. Give me the Fire Aura R right now. Hell fucking yes. Not what I'm looking for. Double Needle A, my favorite. Hey yo, can I can I get an encounter that's not doo doo? What is this encounter, dude? Stop. Is base a random encounter? There are some security system things, yeah, that I haven't cleared. Like, the one that's blocking one of the purple mystery datas I need. Let me double check where I get Aqua Aura from. Under Net 4, I just have not seen a single one for some reason. Dude, stop! This must be the common encounter, but I'm like... Stop with the B-Tanks, dude. And the fishies. There we go. That's something. That is definitely something. What? what You're supposed to attack in sync, you douchebag! At least I can Proto Man the next turn, but like, what? Okay, I guess the, the... This other one's a little slow. In more ways than one. Base is random. Big Bomb PA and Life Sword 3 with attack plus 20. It's possible then we go for program advances before then. Like, I try to clean up... Everything except for the stuff that I need from base. There's the brush man. Holy panel, holy panel, holy panel. Why? Well, maybe that's good because you were saying the big bomb PA. And O code is goaded. Also, I should have lock enemied. That was bad.
They definitely, they definitely do. Because I, I would have gone for it. If it wasn't blocked by something I couldn't handle with... Because I was able to take care of most of them with Z Time Bomb. But some of them... Z Time Bomb doesn't work for some... I don't remember what the reason is. Maybe there's no way to spawn it in or something. Hey, yo, can I get... There's two encounters that I can find. 16.8% and the other one's like 20 or something. And I'm not finding them. There we go. Just in case the other one fails. Nice. Give me the Aqua Aura. What code do I need? A. Aqua Aura A. Yes. Alright, that's undershirt done. I just need Holy Panel. Also, we're in Natopia right now, so that's... Very good, because I can... Okay. What is this hand? Just absolutely obliterate this fishy. Goodbye, fish. I, I... I definitely thought that I picked Fast Gauge, but okay. I want to lock enemy this guy anyway, so it's fine. No. I don't want the fishy locked. I want the brush man locked. Did I buy out the merchant in under one of his full custs? Oh, that he has like a limited inventory of that? I don't think I made that a connection. I can check. I definitely didn't... I, I don't think I bought him out because I would have... Hey, yo. I would have, uh... Thrown more in my folder, maybe. Not what I'm looking for. Big heart PA. If I get Holy Panel R, that's massive. Okay, cool. Or Star. Can you get stars from drops, though? I feel like that's not a thing. Oh wait, this is bad, because it's not a double delete. Shit. But it's very fast, so maybe it is still an S rank. And not Holy Panel. Or at least I'm actually getting this encounter consistently. Ah, oh, the trumpets. Can you, like... Why's caps lock on? Dude, you can't get Holy Panel R with an S rank. You actually have to get a 10. Actually, a rank 8 is the highest chance for a Holy Panel R. Which, this might be my chance to actually do that. If I play just poorly enough. I definitely thought that I selected uh, the full gauge one. Fuck you, stupid asshole. God damn it. 
Maybe that was just shitty enough. No, it was rank 7. Which does have a chance of getting Holy Panel R, but not as good as rank 8. still have the, uh... Alright, well there's Holy Panel. It's not the code that I need, though. But I'm also kind of of the mind... Well... No. I did just save right after getting it. Yeah, let's uh... Let's go check out the... Undernet 1 vendor, if I can remember how to get there. Pretty sure it's this way. Alright, so... Holy Panel, we'll check out the list. Undershirt, I need to do the trade, and then Lava Dragon. But I also want to beat up Eugene. To get more uh, Proto Man 3s. Now the question is, how do I get to the Undernet 1 vendor? There he is. Mm -mm. Uh, this way? Does he have a limited stock of attack 20s, too? Yes, he does. Okay. Alright, should we get a jack out? Now... Let's go murder Proto Man a few times. Um, this doesn't quite kill, unfortunately. Never had much luck finding a, like, Blade Star. Nope. Alright. That's one. You can have up to five, right? Oops. Oh, I like this. Also, I don't really need to worry about getting hit, in except for dying, I guess.
I guess fast gauge. I'd rather do. Shit. That seems pretty lame, actually. You bitch. No, I'm kidding. It's fine. Um, not really. This should be an S. That's true, I guess I could go for, for V2s as well if I want more. I feel like this is pretty tame for base, actually, so I think I'd rather do this. Want more buffs. Seems good. What's his health at? A hundred. You tried. He didn't even he didn't even break my barrier. What a chump. How many is that four? Yeah, three plus the one in my folder already. Might as well just use fast gauge, right? It's probably better to use those buffs on base, but I also just don't have I also just don't have uh enough chips, even with 10 chips in the custom screen, it's like, I need to use some of them. Down to 600. That seems pretty good to me. Oh, you're an asshole. No, oh, well, didn't matter. Nice. Alright, I'm stocked up on Proto Main V3s. We can come back for V2s, I don't mind backtracking for that. Uh, but for now. Girl near the airport gift shop, I know where that is. Yes. I got under shit M. Good ol' under shit. Alright, so that's it for now. Oh, Big Bomb Star is, uh... Oh, I see. Yeah, you traded for Jennifer's chip folder, I see. Is that folder any good? Not really. 
Unless I'm missing something. Silver Fist V? I'm pretty sure I have that, no? Yeah, I do. Is that worth it? For me to trade for Big Bomb Star? Old woman in Utopia City? Well, we just left Utopia, so we'll deal with that later. Never mind. Bosses, we'll deal with later next time. I still have this open for some reason. Uh, Lava Dragon was what we were going to go for next, which is Apartment Comp 3. And in fact, I might just save this for next time, too. But I'll at least... let's at least go over there. And also restock my subjects. Although then again, if I'm going to do stuff off-stream, then... Maybe I'll just do Lava Dragon off-stream then, if, if I do anything. Okay. Photo pass, and then... Apartment comp. Three. Yeah, okay. I don't know exactly where ap Apartment Comp 3 is going to be. We'll try this, and if it's too high up. Perfect. Let's try this for a little bit. I'm gonna try this for 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 a bit. No encounters. No encounters at all. Oh. Wait. Is he? He's. I guess he spawns in with another enemy. Okay. What the fuck is going on? That was a 1.4 percent. Or sorry, this 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 orientation is 2.73 percent, and that's the only enemy orientation that he shows up in. So, I guess we're doing this. Um, does Toadman pierce the hardhead threes? I guess we'll try it. Toadman is actually brain dead. I'm worried. I'm worried for him. I'm worried for him. Look at him. My son. Let's see if this pierces. Because I'm going to lock enemy, so I'm not really. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, they don't- they don't spawn. Okay. Well, this is the learning phase. Yeah, Lava Dragon wants a longer stream. He, he's my biggest fan. Oh, wait a second. Double delete. And? And the results are in? Holy shit! What is going on? Did you- Did you just see that shit? Did y'all just see that shit? First in- was that literally my first encounter in the comp? And then my- the, the- the literal first drop? What rank did I get? What rank did I get? Someone rewind and tell me what rank I got. Was that a 10? Or wait, was that- it was like a 9 or a 10. If it was a 9, then that's a- that's insane. Well, I guess we're done. <laughs> He wanted a longer stream, but didn't say by how much. Holy crap! If that was a nine, it was a three, three, a three percent drop. Whereas if it was, if it was a ten, it was twenty-five percent. Oh my god! Two thirty-nine. It was a nine, dude. It says one point four percent, but then when you look at the, 
the actual encounter, it says two point something percent, but still two two percent something for the encounter. Three percent. Yeah, all my good all my good luck came back to me at the end. Okay. And yeah. Next time we'll plan to get to 247. So I didn't quite get 10 chips, but the chips that I did get were very rare. And yeah, we'll we'll very we'll we'll guaranteed try to get everything except except for maybe that PMD and probably not the base chips, but we'll do that the following time. So that sounds good.